phone you lifted should be uploaded soon, but in the meantime, this should keep your symptoms at bay, at least for a few hours. I'll take what I can get. Well, you know, um, being forced to work with IU has, has reminded me of something. What's that? How much more work I do than you do. <laughs> I mean, it's not even close. We can debate that later. For now, it's just good to have you back. It's good to be back. TC and Jenner are almost to Maui. They should make it to the lab and return with the antidote soon. Yeah, well, we don't have much time to find Shima's son before he calls off the truce. He's meeting the head of Jumaxu. Wait, you still want to solve this case? Shima doesn't even have the antidote. Yeah, oh, well, TC will come through. It's not about finding the antidote anymore. It's about stopping a war from breaking out. Well, forgive me for being selfish, but if two gangs want to take each other out, I'd prefer that over you putting yourself in jeopardy. No, Magnum's right. Last time there was a war like this, crime, drive-by shooting, civilian casualties, they all skyrocketed. OK, the phone's uploaded. I'll see what I can find. I also found something. Uh... It was interesting at the warehouse. The car that supposedly was used to stake out Shima's son had dust all over it, cobwebs on the tires. It means it probably hadn't been driven for at least a few days. So if that car wasn't used to stake out Shima's son, then your source was either lying or wrong. Who was it? It was Tower. Shima's guy? Yeah. Tower led us to the warehouse, and Min said that a lot of the Yakuza guys are fed up with the gang truce and want some change. My gut's telling me that Tower is, is framing Jumak to start a war. Good theory, but all we have so far is a dusty car. No, I might have more. It looks like this phone belongs to the Jumak boss's right-hand man. With this number, I have the cell of every single Jumak member on a wall. What'd you find? Well, it's what he didn't find. So on the night of the kidnapping, there are no orders or updates or anything regarding Kota on this phone or on any phone that it was in contact with. The only messages exchanged that night were about some UFC fight. So no one from Jumak was anywhere near Shima's son that night. And if Tower's making a power grab and trying to frame him, he's got to be the guy to grab Koda. Yeah, yeah. I'll take it a step further and say that Tower had something to do with the stolen drugs that Jumak is blaming on the Yakuza. That makes sense. OK, we need to get to Tower's and see if we can find any clues as to where Shima's son is. I'll have Eunice standing by. The second you guys find anything, we'll move in. Great. Uh, you guys are going to have to go without me. Why? I got Try and crash the meeting and stop a game war from breaking out in a while. 